Hi, welcome back. Today we will be reading "If I Ran the Dog Show," all about dogs by Tish Rabe. I'm the cat in the hat, and today we will go to the short, shaggy, tail waggy super dog show. Dogs are mammals like us, and their senses are keen. We will meet lots of dogs, and you'll see what I mean. Every dog is invited. The tickets are free. It's starting right now. Grab a leash. Follow me. There are millions of dogs, and they live the world over. Meet Plucky and Lucky and Ruby and Rover. There are. Big dogs and small dogs and dogs in between, the, in more shapes and sizes than you've ever seen. Dogs are loyal and true, and they're eager to please. They sniff everything: people, rocks, grass, and trees. Dogs can do lots of things. They like running and catching, and howling and prowling, and sniffing and scratching. Look at all those dogs! Here is the world's biggest build a dog puzzle. This part of a dog's face is known as the muzzle. This is the muzzle right here. Now I'll show you the ears, the withers, the crest. So this is the ears, the withers, the crest, the shoulder. The elbow, the brisket. Where's the brisket? Does someone see where the brisket is? Okay, and the chest right here. Oh, the brisket is right here. <laughs> um, dogs have a thick pad and four nails on each paw. On each foreleg, a fifth nail is called the dew claw. Dogs' eyes can be golden, dark brown, or light blue, round or triangular, or almond-shaped too. Their heads can be long and narrow, like this collie's, or shorter and wider, like this French Mastiff dog's Molly's. Their ears come in all shapes, and I happen to know, erect ears stand high, stand up high, and pendants. Ears hang low. So these are pendant ears, and these are erect ears. Erect ears and pendant ears. Dogs' tails are all different. Some are straight, and some bend. A hook's tail hangs down, then curves up at the end. Tails can be short, long, straight, curly, or plume. Plucky wagged her long tail when I walked in the room. Tails help a dog balance. Look out, Ro there goes Rover. His tail keeps him steady, so he won't fall over. The tail muscles help hold it higher or lower, and help a dog wag its tail faster or slower. Look at all those different dogs. Dogs are carnivores, which mean they eat meat. Their sharp teeth help make the meat easy to eat. I've studied dogs' teeth. Now I've got it right. When top teeth hang over, it's called an overbite. Humans can have overbites too. When bottom teeth stick out, like this bulldog's teeth do, it's called an underbite. Other dogs have this too. Fur helps keep dogs warm and protects their skin. Sarah's thick fur keeps her body heat in. Would you like to meet this nice dog named Shirley? Her fur is quite long, and you see, it is curly. Some dogs have coats. Some dog coats have patterns. Look at Scratchy's back. His coat has a pattern of tan fur and black. Some dogs you see have loose folds in their coats. Dewlaps are loose folds up 
under their throats. Wow, these are dewlaps right here. Sarah was trained and now understands the words sit, stay, and heal, which are spoken commands. Dogs may bark to tell you, let's go for a walk, but barking is only one way dogs can talk. If a dog starts to growl or has teeth that are bared, that means she is angry. Grr. If he whimpers, he is scared. If a dog feels okay, then its tail is upright. If its tail's drooping down, something may not be right. Dogs are all different breeds. You'll see in this book. You'll see just how very different some breeds of dogs look. Irish wolfhounds like Baxter are the breed that is tallest. Chin Chichu chin chu oh chihuahuas like Chico are the breeds that are that is smallest. Purebreds have parents the same breed as each other, like these poodle puppies with their father and mother. This dog's name is Wendell. He likes to do tricks. What breed is Wendell? This dog is a mix. I have pictures right here of his father and his mother. His father was one breed and his mother another. A mixed breed or mutt, I can safely say, is the most common dog in the USA. German Shepherds are brave and have nerves that are steady. For any emergency, they're always ready. Bloodhounds are so good at tracking a scent. If someone is lost, they can smell where he went. Labradors like Rover like to run, jump, and swim. Having fun with kids is perfect for him. Greyhounds have long legs, and these dogs, I know, can run fast, and they're always ready to go. Some dogs have short legs, like this basset hound. When she moves around, she is low to the ground. Silky terriers, like Scampy, have long hair that flows. Sometimes this long hair is held up with bows. Long hair, like Scampy, is called a headfall. Chinese crescent dogs have almost no hair at all. This is a Chinese crescent dog and has like no hair on his body. This dog's having puppies. She's patiently waiting. Dogs give birth about 63 days after mating. When she has her puppies, she'll have one than she'll have more than one. She could have 10 or more before she is done. Puppies like to play. They like snarling and biting. They're not really angry. They're only play fighting. Here is a poem I wrote for these pages. It's a poem about how puppies grow up in stages. I am a puppy by the cat in the hat. I am one day old. I can't hear and can't see. But I can smell my mother. I know she's near me. I am three weeks old. Now I start to explore. What's this? It's a toy I just found on the floor. I am six weeks old. My sister wants to play, but she likes to bite. So I push her away. I am eight weeks old. There's a lot that I know. I have a collar and leash and I'm ready to go. Now it is time for the next presentation, a how do dogs see, hear, and smell demonstration. Dogs have good vision. Their keen sense of sight helps them to see better than people in dim light.
Dogs hear high-pitched sounds that people can't hear. Scratchy heard a mouse squeak and knew it was near. Oof, there's a mouse. I blew this dog whistle, and though I was near it, Lucky heard the whistle, but I couldn't hear it. I can't hear dog whistles, whistles either. I don't know, they're so high-pitched. Dogs' noses work well when Jack smells your clothes. The smell goes to scent receptors in his nose. Then the olfactory nerve, I would like to explain, brings the smell from his nose right up to his brain. Whenever a dog smells your clothes and you, it knows where you've been and what you've been up to. <laughs> Dog must want to eat the hot dogs. Dogs can help people, and here are a few of helpful things some dogs can be trained to do. A seeing eye dog is trained as a guide. When his owner goes out, he is right at her side. Therapy dogs bring tail wagging cheer. People feel better when these dogs are near. They are specially trained, so when they're invited, they stay calm and friendly and don't get excited. Assistant dogs like Bob can open up doors, turn on the lights, find lost keys, and pick things off the floor. Sniffer dogs can find things with their keen sense of smell. If there's fruit in this suitcase, this beagle can tell. Search and rescue dogs work to find people in trouble. In an earthquake, they find those who are trapped in the rubble. Police dogs have badges. Scout, as you can see, is wearing his badge, number 6183. The dog show is over and I have a prize for every dog here, every color and size. Dogs live all around us and we've seen today, dogs live in our world in their own special way. When we walk in the door, they come running to meet us. Wet kisses and tail wags are right there to greet us. There are many things that all these dogs can do but what they want most is to spend time with you the end thank you so much for reading with me and make sure you subscribe bye